hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the subject of radar systems and engineering and so far we have discussed about uh, the various introductory concepts related to radar the block diagram representation and the important elements the radar configurations the, way, the different ways of classifying uh, the radar technology so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the various uh, the important parameters okay that are measured using uh, the radar system what parameters are required to measure about a target to get us uh, all the necessary information about its exact location in space how to do it what parameters are required okay so mainly in order to get uh, the image you know about uh, get substantial information about the exact location of a target in space three parameters main parameters are required first one is range okay it is essentially the separation distance from the source means the radar installation point and the target the distance between these two points that is important then is elevation angle which is the height of the target from the ground level and the azimuthal angle is actually the orientation or exactly uh, where it is present in space in terms of clockwise or anti clockwise movement about a certain reference axis okay we'll explain about these things so all these three things when combined together give us exact information about the location of the target if we know only one of these parameters it will be of no use suppose we know just that the separation distance of the target from the source is let's say 50 kilometers let's say but in which direction 50 kilometers in which direction north east west south how much distance is above the ground so all these things are required so only when these three information is combined it uh, gives us some good knowledge about the target okay so let us discuss them one by one so first is range how is range uh, determined range as i said is the separation distance from the source that is the antenna uh, and the target the object so in order to determine range we have to uh, employ some basic mathematical calculations so range is measured on the basis of the total duration time taken by the transmitted radio frequency signals that uh, that start from this antenna strike the object and the echo signal which is collected by the antenna the receiving uh, receiver so the total time duration taken by the signals to travel towards the object striking it getting reflected back towards the receiver that helps us in determination of the range we know that speed is distance by time here speed is the speed of the signals is the generally the speed of uh, light in space is taken electromagnetic wave which is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay so that is a known quantity now time can be determined how much total time is taken between the transmission and the reception of the signal the time lapse that is that can be known so when two parameters are known speed is known time is known then distance can be calculated so here distance is two times the same distance is traversed covered so the total distance traveled by the signal is 2r towards the target and back towards the receiver okay back and forth two times of r 
So here c or the velocity of light in space 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second is equal to 2 r by delta t. Delta t and c is known. r can be calculated as c delta t by 2. Okay. So that gives us the range or the distance between the antenna or the radar and the object. Okay. Basic calculations. Now comes elevation angle and azimuthal angle okay so what is what are the two things that are required that that we do when we see an object in space let us say we see a bird flying in the sky the first thing that we do to look at the bird flying or sitting somewhere on a tree or whatever first we look up Okay, first we look up. Here I have taken an example of a aeroplane. It is flying. So the first thing that we do is we look up. So here the angle that is formed between the line of sight joining our eyes and the target and the ground level that is the elevation angle. Okay, that is the elevation angle. We look up towards the target so the angle that our line of sight the line joining our eyes and the target makes with the ground level that which acts as the reference here that is the elevation angle now the next thing that we do is we rotate our head either in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction okay to know where exactly the bird or the plane whatever object in space is where it is present exactly so we have to rotate our head either in anti-clockwise direction or clockwise direction towards left or right so first thing that we do is we look up then we rotate our head in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction towards right or left to know where exactly the target is so both these things are required to pinpoint the exact location of the object in space whether it is stationary or movable so when it is stationary the values are fixed the elevation angle is fixed the azimuthal angle is fixed this is the azimuthal angle but is measured with respect to a certain reference axis we'll discuss about that so when the object is stationary these two values are stationary but when the object is moving the elevation angle continuously changes suppose the aeroplane is here the elevation angle will increase suppose the aeroplane is here okay here the elevation angle will decrease suppose the aeroplane is moving towards right the azimuthal angle will change suppose it's moving towards the left we have to continuously move our head towards the anti-clockwise direction towards left so the values will change but these values are required so Elevation angle is basically the upward angle measured from the horizontal. Okay, this horizontal reference or ground level towards the target, the line of sight joining our eyes of the observer. In this case, it is the radar antenna and the target object. When it is measured downward, suppose we look down, then it is called as angle of depression, but that is not required here. So here it is the upward angle. Now the azimuthal angle is the second parameter which is uh, I demonstrated here which uh, as the rotation of the head in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. So how to measure this angle with respect here the reference axis is the ground the horizontal axis but here in order to measure the, uh, uh, the azimuth angle what is the reference. So for that a convention is used a reference is used where the directions four directions east west north and south are assigned some values some degrees north is taken as reference zero degree value east has 90 degree south as 180 degree west as 270 degree and again back towards north it is also called as 360 degree or zero degree all the angle measurements the azimuth angle measurements are done with respect to north from clockwise directions from north 
so the azimuth angle is calculated in this way suppose the object is here somewhere a straight line downwards is drawn where it meets this reference and then another line is drawn from the origin the meeting point of the four axis towards this point the projection we can say of this object and then the angle which this line the north axis and this projection makes in the clockwise direction that is the azimuth angle okay suppose the observer is standing here he rotates his or her head in clockwise direction from north as reference by theta degrees which is the azimuth angles elevation is just this he looks upward okay upward this arrowhead is upward towards the target by an angle phi degrees to get us the elevation angle so this phi is the upward angle this theta is the clockwise angle towards clockwise direction from the north axis as the reference okay by theta degrees okay so this is the upward angle this is the clockwise angle from north these two combined together give us the exact location of the target in space one without the other is of no use to get us the exact location we have to have both these information okay this is the elevation look you first thing that an observer does is to look upward that is here this he looks up here she looks upward that the target is at this much upward angle so in which direction in clockwise or anti clockwise direction that is determined by the azimuth angle here from north he or she has to rotate his head by theta degrees in clockwise direction to get the exact location of the target phi degree upward theta degree clockwise from north gives us the object okay so this is the basic concept related to azimuth angle and elevation angle along with the range measurement so when these three parameters are combined together we get substantial information about the nature of the target there are various other parameters that are also measured but they are in one way or the other derived from these three parameters we'll discuss about them in uh, separate videos for now let us just keep it simple and uh, we just discussed about these three important but simple parameters okay they are simple but important okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much